Welcome back you guys to yet another unboxing video and today we will be unboxing the Mass Effect Tally Zora Noriya statue that just recently came out and I managed to get my hands on both the painted and unpainted models. This one doesn't say whether it's the painted or unpainted. Should say somewhere on the shipping boxes but I took out took them out from the shipping boxes and I don't remember which one is which but this is the what it looks like outside in the box we'll go around it there you have a depiction of what the model may look like painted the reason I got a painted and unpainted version is because if you zoom in a little bit on the painted model you can you might see some like uh, the painting may not be as great they did say that they were hand painted I don't remember since it's been a couple months since I've ordered them there's the back here is the front Thing on the bottom prototype mm. let's see if this one says it at the bottom the other one uh, nope say the same thing all right so let's get this open I'm gonna be tape up here and that seems to be the only spot with tape so that's good A little difficult. Of course, comes in properly sealed. Now let's see which one this is. Tape all around. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so you do get some kind of a. Uh, Certificate of Authenticity, let's see. Okay, so this is the prototype, so it's the unpainted model. So that's cool. It'll be a double unboxing, so we'll be doing both the painted and unpainted version. And I do have a third statue that I will show. I'll make it part of this video since it is also a, a tally statue, but it's a 3D printed model that was custom made. And we can perhaps compare a 3D model to a more licensed official model. Alright, so not that big and quite heavy, surprisingly. Okay. Let's get a little bit of a closer look. Sorry, I'm looking, trying to look at it through my phone. There we go. It's very, very detailed. Now, I'm not sure whether or not you can paint it, but I'm not going to paint this one. I'm just going to leave, leave it as is. Let's see if there's anything at the bottom. What is this? Guessing that's the... It's the 85th version, or the 85th model. Let's see if my phone will focus anymore. That's cool. All right. I'm 
Now let's open up the painted model. I keep saying model, but it's a statue. So, sorry if I'm using, if I'm improperly using the, the wrong words. Also, if I am speaking a little bit off, that's because I just woke up and I wanted to get this done. Whoop, there's the other. Certificate of Authenticity. Okay, so this is the painted version. Let's see how the painted version looks. here okay so the paint isn't actually all that bad we'll take a closer look so here we have the painted model look at it from a distance Let's see. Doesn't feel like the paint's sticking. Nope. Right, let's take a closer look. Much closer look. So, eh, oh, there you see some cracks on the. You can see some paint cracks on the visor. So, not that great, but. Definitely an okay painting, or really good painting. I do have a couple miniatures that I have painted myself, and I would say that. This is arguably much better than what I've done. Let's see, I would have to try to manually focus. Again, they're quite heavy, surprisingly. You, you would think they'd be lighter. What are they made out of? Very heavy plastic, I assume. Couple of mispaints paints right there, but. All right, so, here we have the painted. Unpainted prototype. I do have a third one that I would like to show. Now, this one I got on Etsy from an Instagram post of a 3D artist uh, showing a 3D render of their own uh, Talizora. But it did not come out, or sh I should say the mold, the mold didn't come out perfect there's obviously some def it deformed at a certain point I'm not sure whether through the 3d process or because it was in my mailbox in weather that can reach uh, 120 degrees Fahrenheit so it did it does come in pieces I haven't put it together but just to show you guys some of the imperfections 
what the pla what it's made out of, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some more uh, look into the description and post it in the description of this video, but this one I am gonna paint and it was only $55. I may post a link of where where it is I bought it. And I'll also show a picture of what the 3D render is supposed to look like compared to what I got. Alright. Here's the lower torso. Lower torso came out pretty good, but obviously some of the... I'm guessing that this area is flat, so I'm guessing this is where she would be sitting on glyph. Get rid of all that. Which area? I don't remember, but... Somewhere, somewhere like this. She would be standing or sitting. Now, obviously, there's some like weird bumps. Bumps right there on Glyph. And that is the peg to put it on the, the platform. Don't know whether it's right here or right here. Again, I'll show a picture of the 3D render. The leg. Which one is this? The right leg, I assume. Some weird bumps. I'm guessing this is from the Guessing it was being printed this way, going upward with plastic stands that you that you would have to later cut out and sand off. But I'm not sure since I don't have a 3D printer myself, so I don't know what the whole process is. Here's the left left arm. Not as much. Not as much detail as the official. Oh, trying to get this to focus. I'll definitely paint it. Luckily, I have a reference right there. Here is the face without the mask. Some plastic shaving still. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this one since if I'm gonna put the statue together, it's not gonna be with this face. There's another leg. And there's the knife. Although this is. Uh, very very thin so it's quite bendable so it you'll easily break this off the other hand arm The upper body. And the head with the helmet on. As you can see right there, 
something oh oh wait a minute i think those are i think bubbles may have formed inside and it's a little bit sticky yeah there we go so obviously not perfect but it's 55 dollars compared to a hundred and seventy nine dollars each where I got the money to spend it well I just used my own minimum wage money luckily I have a new job so obviously something went wrong whether again from the heat being inside the metal mailbox for a couple hours or from the 3D process. Alright. I'll set these aside somewhere else. Bring these two forward. Obviously the size of the figures, I'll put it in the description. I don't want to reach out and grab, grab a measuring tape to give you guys a reference. But Obviously, these are the figures, and I'm pretty sure that you can still actually buy them. I don't remember them ever going out of sale, so you might have a chance. And I know that they're doing, uh, I believe it was uh, Morden and Garrus, if I'm not mistaken, and the Elusive Man. Whereas, those are the only ones I know so far, but... I'll leave a link to the Bioware store. You can obviously get them there. And that'll conclude today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you again soon.